Welcome to MCOM Solutions, Jake here. So today I have an exciting video for you. Just a little while back, right before I went back to the States in January, uh, individuals from Constellation Response and AT Labs reached out and asked if I wanted to do some collaboration. Of course, said yes. Uh, they agreed to send me one of their AT Labs RM-1, that stands for Ruggedized Man Net Radio, to give her a shot. I was excited because I've I've been considering adding a more tactical, robust radio to my kit, you know, so that I have something that I know will withstand uh, weather drops, you know, those type of things versus, you know, your typical 3D printed mesh radios that are out there today for the most part are, you know, definitely fragile in that sense. So today we're going to take a little quick unboxing of that. We'll go over specifications and then I'll give you kind of my final thoughts, use case. And then in the future, of course, as I get to do more field testing in this, kind of put it through its paces, I will do a follow-up video, you know, giving you my true and honest uh, opinions of the radio. So let's take a look at it. All right, so we'll do a quick unboxing of the AT Labs RM-1 so you can see what you get. <clears throat> nice packaging. Of course, here's the radio. We'll go over that a little bit more. <clears throat> They're tactical. Tactical. This is the 915 megahertz tuned whip here. It's, you know, bendable. Um, I do have some options for myself here while I'm in, in Albania. I'm currently going to use the Alpha 868, which is a non-flexible rigid antenna. But uh, I do have two other antennas on order. One similar to this style from Rockland and another one I'll show later. Uh, they have a helical coil style or helical style GPS antenna. We'll show the installation of that. This just gives you better reception, more precise location reporting, and then a <clears throat> waterproof USB-C that's going to that screws onto the radio, and then of course this end will go onto your uh, end user device, you know, your tablet or your phone. Of course, they included some stickers, and they are partnered with Constellation Response, and I'm going to obviously go over some of the stuff. There's some Loctite here too, or thread lock um, that you could use if you want to lock things in, and then just the packing material. So that's it. Uh, we'll go look at the radio interfaces here so if you look here from the top there's a type in connector here in the top a it's got the USB-C with the weather cap on it <clears throat> and then you have the SMA connector for the GPS antenna and then I'm going to put the Alpha six or eight six eight on there because I'm uh, operating here in Europe. And then if you look, this is an all aluminum shell. You got a nice laser etched logo on there. These rubber bumped ends, and then here on the back side, try to get that in there. There's a physical power switch. That will tell you that you're powered it on these two pogo style connectors they're going to have a drop-in charge cradle later and that they will be selling so we're going to go over some of the specs and details here in a second but then this cap cap is a little tricky to thread on when you have the gps antenna installed so just know sometimes you have to take care it's a little easier just because it's hard to get your fingers in there. Snug that down. And then you can thread on the GPS antenna. So there it is, all ready to go. So let's take a look at the specifications. All right, so we jumped over to Constellation 
Response.com. Uh, they're partnered with AT Labs and they're selling these radios on their website. And I'm sure the first thing people are going to see there is the the price of the radio. So this is not what I would consider an entry radio for Mistastic users. You have to have specific needs for this radio. Now, some of you may have the budget to where that doesn't that price point doesn't bother you, but I wouldn't recommend this to someone that doesn't really that's just getting started doesn't exactly, hasn't done an emergency communications plan, hasn't built a, you know, a group of people that they know that they're going to rely on to communicate with. So consider that this is, this is a radio for someone that needs this rugged, rugged capability, right? So they have basically three variants, really two, but you have the portable version, as I showed you there, that version, you can also get their infrastructure version. Uh, for an additional $50, which includes uh, stainless steel brackets to allow it to be mounted to multiple types of surfaces, like poles. You can basically use a nylon strap or a ratchet strap to attach it to a tree. And it has the brackets for like the SoShine 6 watt, very popular panel. Um, so, <clears throat> and then they have an additional one for the infrastructure one with a upgraded antenna. And that one is an additional $25 on top of that, excuse me. <clears throat> the So the R kind of in the initial phases of this, there's a, this is a pre-order item they are showing, at least according to this website, there's 20 in stock. Currently uh, expects units to ship from AT Labs within four weeks of order being placed, right? Um, bulk orders, please contact us, you know, beforehand. So if you're looking to buy, buy a, several of these radios or a whole set, then maybe you need to call into it. So some of the key features I want to highlight here is the IP67 and MILS standard 810 hotel, which is kind of the all encompassing standards that someone's going to look for, especially on a radio that's going to cover the ingress protection, drop protection, those type of things. They're pending that they've had to send it out to an independent lab to do so, to get that certification. But once it's been certified, they've done kind of some of their own testing, but once it's been certified, they can guarantee that, you know, I'm putting, maybe putting words in their mouth, but, um, so you can be submerged in water up to 30 minutes in depth of one meter. I don't think many of you are going to be doing that, but Hey, <laughs> I don't know what your plans are. And then of course it has its core radio there is a mestastic or excuse me the rack wireless whiz block to include um obviously the gps module and the uh 10 000 milliamp hour or a 10 amp hour battery for extended use or 10 000 milliamp hours um those are maybe not as familiar with that but it's a huge battery they claim five to 15 days. I would imagine you'd see most of that. Uh, and then of course it has, you know, the standard Mestastic firmware that's loaded on there. My preferred method that I used to update this was the over the air uh, method, OTA. I'll put a link for that video up here in the video. So you can check that out if you don't know how to do that. Talks about their stainless steel brackets that could withstand winds up to 100 miles an hour. So maybe you consider if you're looking at your radios right now and looking at your communications plan and you're like, I need to have the ability to have maybe a portable solar node that I could move to areas that I need, but I want it to be very robust, tough, could handle the weather, could handle the elements with no questions asked you know, you could go in and, and spend the extra money on a radio like this. So you could just deploy it in a certain area while you're operating in that area, you're search and rescue, you're a cert team member, Aries team member, you know, something in that case form, you're a disaster response volunteer, these type of things, this radio would really shine. Uh, as I showed you in the beginning there, there's obviously the physical switch here on the bottom. It does have a little light up LED in it, which is really nice. So you can tell when it's on and off. They say the operating temperatures are zero to 45 degrees Celsius and negative 20 to negative 60 degrees Celsius for discharge. You know, if you know, you know, lithium batteries don't love being super cold and they will start to discharge when you get into very cold temperatures. 
So that pretty much covers the basics. I'll show you, let's see if I can find the picture again. Um, there's one of the ones mounted, the infrastructure mounted like to a tree. And I want to see, there, there it is. There's a better angle I was looking for. You can see here the little cutouts in the, um, the stainless steel bracket there allow you to, you know, wrap a strap around it. It could be a zip tie, whatever you need. And, and then, of course, you have your panel hooked in here to the bottom. So very cool setup. Let's just wrap this up now. All right, closing thoughts, right? As I kind of mentioned throughout this, if if you don't already have a communications plan, then I highly recommend you, you get one put together before you make a decision on whether or not this is the type of radio you need. Because in the beginning, you may not. You If you're still new to Mestastic, you're learning Mestastic, something like this might get you excited because it's all cool and tactical looking. But maybe learn you know learn more about Mestastic with a cheaper radio in the beginning and then upgrade to this if it's a type of radio you need. The caveat to that would be is if you, you know, are a volunteer of some nature, whether it's, you know, an organized volunteer group or just a local community group that has come together and made a decision that, you know, you need to improve your communications plan and you need this type of capability, this durability, this ruggedness of this radio, you know, partner that with ATAC and, you know, end user devices or just your, your cell phone, which is an end user device, but, and you will dramatically improve your situation awareness while being able to communicate with your team members, of course, within limitations always. But I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, check out our website, our social media links, our affiliate links down below. And of course, if you're interested in these radios, jump on over to Constellation Response and pick you up one while they still have some in stock. Thanks for watching.